We look at some of the most incredible electric aircraft which are already flying, and finally ending the video with some of the most unique vehicles being built for tomorrow. So stay tuned and let's begin the top 10 countdown. At number 7, the Cora. Remember the company Kitty Hawk which brought forth the Man Flyer? Well, they have returned yet again with a new aircraft. This thing looks a little bit weird, but it can fly just like its predecessor. It has 12 lift fans and a very large propeller, so it can take off and land vertically. It can fly at a decent 110 miles per hour, but it's probably not going to fly too long and no confirmed flight times just yet. At number 6, the Sunflyer 2. So there are quite a few electric planes coming out, and this is one of the higher end planes being built right now. It can fly over 138 miles per hour, and it's claimed to have a 3.5 hour flight time capability, which is really, really good for an all electric aircraft. It's in a prototype phase, and it's being built in parallel with a different four seater prototype called the Sunflyer 4. In terms of flight capabilities, this is one of the higher end planes, but it also comes with a hefty price tag. At number five, the Lilium Jet. It carries three electric jet engines and multiple flaps, which can tilt from a vertical to a horizontal position. So what you get is a 180 mile per hour vehicle which can fly around for about an hour. It does not require any runways and you can go back and forth to work, but it probably won't get you to your next vacation destination. The first prototype has already flied exceptionally well and the company is now working on a 5 seater commercial version. So this is one of the few jets which you'll actually see on the market in the near future. At number 4, the Uber flying car. There are literally tons of electric flying cars being developed right now, and it's kind of tough to say which ones will actually be victorious and make it to the market. But the Uber flying car has a really good chance of making it. It would be a fully automated VTOL aircraft bound to predetermined flight paths. And this has resulted Uber teaming up with NASA to develop a whole new flight system for autonomous aircraft. As for the flying car itself, well, it's a bit in the preliminary phase, but it could be off the ground in a few years. At number 3, Alice by Eviation. Batteries take up a lot of weight no matter what vehicle you put them in, and in this particular aircraft it takes up to 60% of the total weight of the aircraft, so it had to be designed from the ground up utilizing a composite body. But keep in mind this is an all electric aircraft capable of carrying 9 passengers 650 miles away, which is really good. The company has secured a battery supply agreement, but they will need to raise enough capital to build the plane. Unfortunately, a lot of startup companies tend to go under in the first couple years, so this project is a little bit of a long shot, so we'll just have to wait and see. At number 2, the EFAN-X, and this one is a very large plane which can carry around 100 passengers. Its turbine engines are being replaced by a 2 megawatt electric motor, and right now this may seem like a little bit of a long shot with today's battery technology. But it's intended to be a hybrid plane, and there's a very good chance that we can see a prototype in the next few years. Another very large electric aircraft being developed right now is the Wright Electric Plane, and this one's backed by EasyJet. It can carry up to 120 passengers and it's all electric, but based on battery technology right now, this doesn't really seem too feasible. So it's more of a long range project and it's going to be highly dependent on new developments in battery technology. At number 1, the Zunam Aero. One of my favorite aircrafts is a 12 passenger hybrid electric jet. It may not have compatible range, but it's cheap to fly at $250 an hour. Right now it's designed to carry a fuel tank, but if battery technology improves, it can become fully electric. And to me, I think this is a really good strategy for this size of jet, because it's not trying to redefine flight and technologies. Ultimately, it will have up to 80% lower noise and emissions when compared to conventional aircraft. So the Zunom Aero will be a really cool jet to follow in the next few years. Once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.